I have an old Dale Latitude D620. I put a uh, SSD drive in it. So I'm going to time how long it takes the computer to boot up, get a website up, and go to ESPN's website and log some uh, image, page full of image on it. I'm going to use my Fitbit watch to time it. Let me get it set to the timer mode. I am on the stopwatch mode of my Fitbit. Let me hit the power button and the go button on the watch simultaneously. I hit the power button on the computer and the watch is counting. First thing is going to come up, my login page. I'm going to push the mouse over, click in there, and then once the page comes up, I'm going to hit the browser. There it is. I clicked in at 29 seconds. I'm going to go down here and hit the browser and let it pull itself up. As you can see, I'm at 41 seconds. When the browser comes up, I'm going to type in ESPN.com. Hit enter and see how long it takes that page to fill up. There it is. 59 seconds it is still filling up information in the page the hard drive is still running so now the advertisement is up all the data is up there I'm gonna call it 124 I'm gonna power the computer off I'm gonna put the drive that was in there that I replaced and once I get that drive in there I'm gonna run the same test and man this thing is powering down pretty quick I removed the SSD drive I put in the old drive not sure which brand it is I'll check it when I swap it back out and I believe the date on it was 2010 can't confirm that so I'm about to do the same test again. Let me uh, go ahead and pause the camera and, and run it till the browser's up. The computer's running. The stopwatch is running. I was clicking in on my login screen at 30 seconds. So we are right now at 24 seconds and counting and I still don't have a login. So. Let me go ahead and pause this because I think this is going to take a while and uh, come back when it's ready. I was able to click my login at 56 seconds. The window is up. I canceled out an Adobe update. I clicked that. Uh, browser button Firefox I don't think nothing happened the first time so after a few seconds I clicked it again and here we are at two or three minutes and the browser hadn't come up so when the browser comes up I'll go to the ESPN page and wait till it loads I have typed in ESPN we're at four minutes and 45 seconds let's see when that page loads and that ad loads and we get all the data up top we got everything up top we got the ad we got the rest of the stuff there five minutes and 12 seconds one thing I did notice the hard drive is still hard at work doing something so let's see if it shuts down as quick as it did with the SSD drive Hit shut down. SSD drive shut down in about 10 seconds. Let's see how long it takes this one to shut down. Uh -uh, it's going down. I'll come back when it is. Oh, it's almost powered down. 
even though that hard drive still has activity, it looks like it's trying to shut down. Still counting. Not sure how long I can hold my arm in this position. Computer still shutting down. I'm at 7.50. Still trying to shut down at 9.20. At 10 o'clock, I'm going to force a shutdown by holding the power button down for 30 seconds. Well, we're at 10 minutes. Still waiting to shut down. Now, mind you, I just installed this SSD drive last night. The uh, hard drive was cloned. Nothing's been installed. Nothing's been updated. So something uh, definitely didn't boot all the way when I went into my browser so it wouldn't shut down. It was hung up. There you have it. If you still have an old drive in your laptop and you use that laptop, replace that drive ASAP before it fails on you. You'll get great speed back and you'll uh, have a computer that'll probably last another uh, five years at least.